Apes. Cobia. Oh, snappers there. <laughs> Woohoo! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I was doing stuff like that, I was doing stuff like this. My name's Joey Antonelli and you're watching my channel. I've grown up in the same area my whole life fishing the same waters with a family full of fishermen. Now I'm on the water more than ever. Thanks for tuning in to another episode and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get back at the action. <laughs> Antonelli in the great outdoors. I didn't fall Dive time! Caught a couple. It's time to hop in. And then just trickle the trickle the sardines for us. Now I just hopped in the water, but we had already been fishing for a while, so we had the fish chummed up a little bit, and we knew when we got in we were gonna see, if nothing else, a few kingfish, because we've been seeing them from the boat. So I've got the spear gun loaded up and I've been diving a lot lately where my brother and Scott haven't so we were going to let them do a couple drops first and they were able to shoot some fish and then it was my turn. I drifted down into the green water and you can see the big old red snapper there coming in on the chum. I took my time, lined up a shot, took a pretty long shot and hit him a lot lower than I would have liked but I knew it was a pretty solid shot and I'd be able to pull him back up. As I made my way back to the surface, I could tell it really wasn't a good shot at all. Evan put the net in the water and just was safer and easier to do it that way. And then it was time to hop in and regroup. Uh, yeah. While I was dealing with my fish, Scott made a drop down. I was able to get in the water right as he was landing his fish. Even though I was in the boat, my brother was in the water watching his back. And he got a much nicer red snapper than mine. Uh, he got one probably around the 15 pound range and it had a hook in it. Rolling your old hooks back. Nice work. Now you can see we're always chumming, so if I got the opportunity to get some more chum, I'll take it. That is a really hard shot, a lot harder than it looks, even though it's just a bonita. Uh, I lined up on the chum, timed it, and got a nice shot of the bonita. And then I saw Scott at the surface and messed with him and scared him with it. <laughs> There's our little chum stealer. Now we got more chum. Bonichiwa, lined up on a piece of chum and let it rip. Banner here? Yeah. Cobia in the boat. That's a nice one. Something's happening, they're ripping them fast. Scott shot something. Heard some profanity and then Nikki dove down. What was it? Shark was on him, maybe. Was a shark on him? Two of them, yeah. We're, Look, we're getting all the hooks back today. I got a big J hook back. Did you, uh... This was in one of the snappers. Let me see the. You see the J hook you got? It's on the cutting board. Evan's gutting them. Let me take your spear. There we go. We got a little pile going back here, inside there. Hop up for a sec. This is for the guys. The guys, guys, guys. We got that nice cobia. Nice cobia that Nikki shot and a limit of a red snapper. Now we're gonna go lay some work down on some cobias. I'm gonna go ahead and get my dive gear on. I was just diving in a topper that whole time. But I'm gonna full gear up and things are about to get real. Things are about to get real scary and sharky. But we got a good crew, so we'll make it happen. After a quick little change of spots, uh, right when I got in the water, I spotted a really nice sized kingfish and I just slowly followed it right under the surface. Took a pretty decent shot on it. I knew I hit it good, but I also knew it was gonna smoke me. So I clipped up my belt reel and uh, was ready for this thing to take off, which it did. I was able to let go of the gun and play him out a little bit. He only took about like 10 or 15 feet of line off my belt reel. And then my brother was there. Once we got him close in, he put a securing shot in it. And Scott was there to defend off any sharks or anything like that. But there ended up being a kingfish show up, or not a kingfish, I'm sorry, an amberjack show up. And Scott put the shot in the amberjack and then it was our turn to back him up. 
Hang on to it for a sec, actually. I got gun and shaft in the boat. Okay, there's one more shaft connected to that fish. This would prove to be my most memorable drop of the day. I was surrounded by fish, looking all around, and I spotted these guys. That was a nice little wad of Kubera snapper sitting very high in the water column. And I knew I had a good shot. I locked up on him and just started pulling because there was no way I was going to lose this fish to a shark. And I got him in really fast and I uh, had my brother and Scott also there backing me up in case I needed help. I used my dive knife to kill the fish pretty much right away because besides putting the fish out of its misery and killing them faster, it also makes it a lot safer for us in the boat so we don't have a fish freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot too, buddy. Thank you. I just got in the boat with that Kubera and I heard Scott had shot something real nice and I grabbed another gun, hopped back in, didn't have time to deal with my gun and I could see he had a really nice mutton on and muttons are fish that have very, very soft skin or flesh. So I wanted to put a second shot in so we didn't risk losing his. And he had a nice like 26 inch mutton or so. Hop in the boat, reset. To play back up Scotty. I'll grab your gun in a second, Nick. Hold on. Here, take that. Got it? Nope. Nah, I do. Ugh. Yeah. Sorry for the language. Pretty though. good one. Uh... That is a nice pair. Nice pair of <laughs> snappers there. <laughs> Woohoo! That was quite the exchange there. We got Cobias. We got Kubera, Mutton, Kingfish, Red Snapper, we got them all. At the end, we got time for one more drift. I had some GoPro issues and I thought I had my camera on, but I missed this fish, but it's a real nice African pompano. There you can see it. They're really fast fish and really strong, fun to shoot. Keeping the variety pack going. The APs. Ugh. We are keeping the variety pack alive with a nice AP. African pompano. Super pretty fish. Super unique looking. I just got back in the water and I hadn't even finished loading my gun yet. And we had a shark come up with a couple nice cobias on him. I dropped down to kind of film Scott, but then also be down there to play backup. Even without the tip on my gun, I'd still be able to fend off a shark from his cobia. But I could tell he had an awesome shot. He didn't need a second shot on it right there. And there was no sharks around, so we were looking good. Got it? Just be careful, it's loaded. Scott, you want me to shoot him or no? Yes? I put the second shot in because Kobe's have a reputation for just going absolutely berserk. And this was just the safer, easier way to do it. This is a really cool drop also. I got down to the green water and I was just getting vortexed by these amberjacks. Now they were a little smaller. There was definitely some keepers in there. Uh, but I decided to pass up on it. And then Scotty boy, as I was coming up, he was going down and I couldn't even see what he was shooting. It was down in the green water. So he was just above the green water. He pulled the trigger and I'm asking him what he shoot. Turns out he mm -hmm. plugged a big kingfish. Is it a big one? Uh -huh. You can see Scott's using that same technique of having the belt reel on. The belt reel is just really nice because it, it can save you in a bind. Whether you shoot a big fish, you need to let your gun go because it spooled the reel on the gun. Or if you get tangled on your gun, you need to let it go. Uh, it's just a nice backup plan, but you do have to be very careful because the belt reel is attached to you and it could be dangerous and you could have to drop your weight belt. But I dropped down, put the kill shot in his kingfish, or securing shot, I guess, didn't exactly kill it, but there was no way it was getting away. We could rip it back up. Evan and my brother were in the boat and they were right on top of us and we were gonna throw this guy in the boat. We 
get another gun. There's a million AJs under me. Right? I picked out the biggest AJ that I saw, let it fly, and I didn't stone him, but I really messed him up and it was no problem to pull up a nice AJ. Oh yeah, I see that bull buzzing him. I don't know. He's getting, he's getting beat up though. Watch your feet, he's probably gonna throw them. Yeah, there you go, bud. Took more line and ran further than most fish that size should. Scott's kingfish smoked them, but it's a good one. We got king. Cobia, Kubera, mutton, AJ's, bunch of red snapper underneath. We're gonna put another layer of ice on there and we absolutely load it up on some fishes.